poštovani gradonačelniče, dragi osjetljaci, ljubitelji muzike, zadovoljstvo mi je da vas pozdravim i najavim gostovanje džez ansambla Državnog univerziteta u San Diego, koji će pomoć vođstvom profesora Bila Jegera otvoriti ovogodišnju manifestaciju mjesec poštovanja džeza u Crnoj Boli. Sa ovog mjesta vidite sali Ica Budo Tomović u Podgorici. Festival će se razgrana po širom Crnoj Gore, Cetinje, Bar, Mikšić, Tiva, Fikjevlja. Su također gradovi domaćini naše aprilske proslave džeza. Članovi gostujućeg orkestra su prvi put u Crnoj Gori. Oni su mladi, posvećeni, inspirisani i motivisani muzičari sa visokim umjetničkim idealima i baš to mi želimo da naša manifestacija njeguje. Inspiriše, motiviše, izgrađuje i spaja generacije koje dolaze. Njima je posvećen ovogodišnji mjesec poštovanja džeza upravo kroz temu nove generacije u džezu u čijem će ritmu uživati naša publika tokom cijelog aprila. Koristim priliku da se zahvalim svim partnerima manifestacije, Kic Budo Tomović i glavnom gradu, i svima ostalima. Posebnu zahvalnost upućujem Američkoj ambasadi u Crnoj Gori, koja je pokrovitelj manifestacije i gostovanja džez ansambla Državnog univerziteta iz San Diego. Zadovoljstvo mi je također i da pozovem Anu Medigović, sekretarku za kulturu glavnog rada, da vam se obratim. Izvolite. Poštovane dame i gospodo, gradonačelnič, dobro vam večer. Počastovana sam što sam večera zdio atmosfere koja odiše muzikom, koja pleni i zavodi sva naša čula. Kao što je govor posebna forma ljudskog izražavanja, tako i muzika posebna forma ljudskog bitisanja. Muzika je u vazduhu, muzika je svuda oko nas. Manifestacija Mjesec poštovanja džeza u Crnoj Gori, džem 2019, pod ovim imenom organizuje se od 2007. godine u Kicu Budo Tomović. Posredstvom ambasade Sjedinjenja Američkih država u Crnoj Gori večera smo u prilici da ugustimo članove džeza ansambla Državnog univerziteta u San Diego, koji će svojim koncertom i otvoriti manifestaciju. Ovo je odlična prilika za razminu iskustava, za kreiranje dobre muzike, a dobra muzika govori istinu, istinu o nama, o sobstvenoj kulturi, o sobstvenom izrazu. Zahvaljujući organizatorima, u prilici smo da iz godine u godinu se upoznamo sa kvalitetnim kulturnim sadržajima. Ovim putem pozivam američku ambasatorku u Crnoj Gori, Judy Rising Rajnke, da nam se obrati. Good evening, Podgorica. Dobro večer, Podgorice. It's my pleasure to be here to welcome you to a wonderful evening of jazz. Čast mi je zadovoljstvo da vas pozdravim na ovoj divnoj večeri posvećenoj džezu. I think you know, April is Jazz Appreciation Month. I'm excited to be able to welcome here San Diego State University Jazz Ensemble to help us celebrate this exciting occasion. As you see behind me, we have a 19-member ensemble which has traveled halfway around the world to join us tonight on their first stop, first stop of their tour in Montenegro. Kao što već znate, april je mjesec posvećen poštovanju džeza i veoma sam uzbuđena što mogu da pozdravim džez ansambl Državnog univerziteta San Diego koji je ovdje večera sa nama. Kao što vidite, ovaj ansambl čini 19 članova koji su proputovali pola svijeta kako bi bili ovdje večera sa nama, a Podgorica je samo prva stanica njihove turneje kroz Crnu Goru. I'm proud to call jazz an American art form. It stems from New Orleans in the American South, and jazz has grown to become a worldwide phenomenon. Today, I know there are jazz lovers out there, and there are jazz lovers around every corner of the world. All of them have a common language, 
and that is their love of jazz. Sa ponosom mogu da kažem da jazz predstavlja poseban oblik američke kulture. Potiče, kao što znate, iz New Orleansa na jugu Amerike, ali je veoma brzo se raširio i postao svjetski fenomen. Sigurno sam da ovdje među vama postoji mnogo ljubitelja jazza, kao i u svakom kutku ove zemlje, koji se sporazumijevaju zajednički kroz jezik ljubavi prema muzici. So I want to thank our partners for this evening, for making this wonderful evening possible. I want to thank Mayor Ivan Vukovic. Thank you, Mayor. <laughs> of course, the Secretary of Culture from the municipality of Podgorica. That's Ms. Anna Medigovic. Of course, the Kits uh, Burutomovic director, Snežana Burjan. Please wel welcome our chance to be a partner. And importantly, Maya Popovic with, uh, with, from the Jazz Art Association, our wonderful partner in jazz. Željela bih ovu priliku večeras da iskoristim da se posebno zahvalim svim našim partnerima koji su nam pomogli i omogućili da se ovde večeras okupimo. Prije svega pre, eh, gradonačelniku Podgorice, gospodinu Ivanu Vukoviću, sekretaru za kulturu u glavnom gradu, gospođi Ani Medigović, eh, direktorki Kica Budo Tomović, Snežani Burzan i eh, gospođi Maji Popović iz eh, udruženja eh, Jazz Art. And then, of, well, and that's good. <laughs> And then, of course, there's a very special thanks to Professor Bill Yeager, who you'll meet in a moment. The School of Music and Dance of San Diego State University, and all of these wonderful musicians who've made the long trip to Montenegro. These people are cultural envoys from America. They're the real jazz ambassadors, and we are honored to host you here. Posebnu, posebnu zahvalnost želim da uputim profesoru Biliju Jegeru koga ćete uskoro imati priliku da vidite ovdje na sceni i ovom predivnom ansamblu od 19 muzičara koji su proputovali pola svijeta kako bi bili ovdje sa nama A, i želim da kažem da su oni pravi kulturni izaslanici Amerike i jazz ambasadori i a, velika nam je čast što su ovdje sa nama večeras. And so... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Dama y Gospodo, I would like to present to you tonight the San Diego State Jazz Ensemble. Let's welcome them. Dame i Gospodo, predstavljam vam Jazz Ensemble Državnog Univerziteta San Diego. Pozdravimo ih još jednom aplauzom. Hvala. Good evening, you're gonna to have to put up with my English. Uh, as you can see from our program, we're doing five concerts in Montenegro in all your beautiful cities. And uh, so what I gave you is a to be selected from, because we would be here for four hours if we played everything on that list. So we're gonna be doing a different program every night. And so uh, since we are from America, the first piece we're gonna play is entitled American Gothic, and it features our wonderful guitarist, Luis Valenzuela, American Gothic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Valenzuela. Yeah, yeah Luis. Uh, Luis is uh, a very fine professional musician in Southern California and is getting his master's degree with us. He's a graduate student. And uh, the next person we're going to figure, uh, feature is uh, a young man named Matt Hall. And uh, he's a, an amazing trombonist. We're featuring uh, him on a Harold Arlen tune back from the, the great American songbook era. And uh, he's a product of the United States Marine Corps. And uh, they, in, the, in, in the United States, we have a, a, a policy called the GI Bill. And so he's come back after his four years with the Marines and is getting his master's degree with us. And I think you'll really, really enjoy the playing of Matt Hall, My Shining Hour.
What can I say, Matt Hall? <laughs> well, from the United States Marines to one of your top musicians here in Montenegro, and uh, he's written us a wonderful arrangement on Herbie Hancock's Dolphin Dance. His name is Ennis uh, Tehero... Te I always screw this up, Terovic. Tirovic. I screw it up every time. Uh, boy, what a wonderful audience to get applause for a screw up. Uh, <laughs> All right, there's Ennis.
Yeah, take a bow. Yeah. yeah. A wonderful arrangement, wonderful pianist. You're lucky to have him. Yeah, just wonderful, just lovely. Uh, Maya Popovich and I were uh, at the, uh, it was two years ago now, we, uh, she represented Montenegro, I, re I represented the United States at a big conference in Germany. Jazz Osh Deutschland. That's how we uh, originally got together and started to, two years ago, starting to put this tour together. And uh, she is just the most wonderful lady. And she's, she's made this all possible. And uh, yeah. And uh, on this 18 nation panel that uh, Maya and I were on, uh, one thing that really stood out clear is that. Jazz has become a world music, and it, it's being played all over the world. And a lot of the places across this globe, this music is appreciated more than in the United States, quite frankly. And uh, it was really an honor uh, to get to participate in that. In the, and in the flavor of the world music aspect of this, we're gonna do a piece that comes from jazz's roots and this is an the rhythmic concept of this piece is from east african music and it was written by our own carl suka in the trumpet section who is a faculty member at san diego state university and uh this is his wegasa jam and you'll notice the polyrhythmic construction of the piece because it's really two or three rhythms going on at the same time. That's, that's really characteristic of African music. And uh, it features uh, DJ Martin on the tenor saxophone, Carl on the trumpet, and our wonderful drummer, David Sullivan, on the drum.
Jacob, original composition, arrangement. Yeah, amazing piece of music. Uh, we're going to do a piece now uh, by Wayne Shorter. It's called Yes and No. It was originally recorded before I came to San Diego State University. I had a school called the Los Angeles Jazz Workshop for 10 years. And we recorded this uh, 35 years ago. And it hasn't been played since. And uh, you'll, when you see how difficult this thing is, you'll see why I haven't played it in 35 years. And uh, it, it features uh, two of our wonderful saxophonists, Chaz Cabrera on the alto sax and DJ Martin on the tenor sax. And I guess the best way to describe it is don't try this at home.
DJ Martin, Chaz Cabrera, I've been thinking about this tune <laughs> all month. You guys, you guys did that real well. <laughs> now, are, are, are you guys all familiar with Walt Disney, I would think, right? Yeah? Well, we're all members of the Mickey Mouse Club. It's made for you and me. M-I-C-K-E-Y, right? M-O-U-S-C. When you wish upon a star, right? Every, just about every Disney tune you can think of is in the next chart. And uh, it's entitled Mickey's Revenge. And it was a, a dear friend of mine, Mike Dago, great trombone player, was playing at the Tokyo Disneyland. And he wrote this piece in, uh, in Tokyo for my band. And, uh, oh, let's see. It, it, it's another one. And, and then after we do Mickey, we're bringing out the wonderful Kristen Korb. And you're going to really enjoy her. She is just an absolute uh, joy. And anyone that can play bass and sing at the same time and, and so well and creatively, it, it, it's, we love playing with this. We, we had her out to San Diego two years ago. And then uh, Maya and I ran into her in Bremen at the Jazz Ahead in Germany, and we got together with, and so again, we, uh, having Kristen here with us uh, was so uh, part of our collaboration. Uh, let's see, this features people too numerous to mention, but uh, DJ Martin again on tenor, Luis Valenzuela on trombone, or on guitar, and then on trombone, <laughs> Matt Hall again. You remember him, right? So, uh, Mickey, if you're up there, don't get mad at us.
Thank you very much. Did you get all the tunes? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, we're so happy to be here. This is just, uh, we've had, this is the first concert and uh, we've just, we've already had more fun than humans deserve uh, here. It's such a beautiful country and that we get to go I think just about to every major city in in this beautiful place, and what a what a privilege it is for us, and it's a privilege for all of us on the stage here to get to share the stage with a true jazz artist that uh, I think will blow you away. She was here a, a number of years ago in in a duo concert, and uh, since then she she has a symphony orchestra book, and of course she has a book written for jazz ensemble. And uh, we had her out to San Diego State a couple years ago, and it was just fantastic. And uh, I'm proud to say that she's a good friend of mine. Kristen Korb. There you are. There you are. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> You know, uh, Kristen, she had her base shipped here yesterday, and it went to Vienna. What is up with our air, air, airlines? Uh, so they missed, they missed it by a few spots. She had to, just a couple hours ago, drive out to the airport. In a, you know, she took a cab and got her instrument and got here just in time for sound check. And uh, the pro that she is, you know, didn't, didn't phase her one bit. Yeah. You know, these charts that if you go uh, in Los Angeles, if you wanted to rate the top composer arrangers in Los Angeles, this book of hers is a who's who of all the best writers. I kid you not. It, 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 they, they, every one of them is, is at the very top of their field. I have and they've all written taste. this music for her. Yeah, <laughs> it, it's pretty exciting. We're going to start with uh, a tune that I wrote, uh, and it is arranged by Tom Kubis, who's one of the, one of the elites, one of the, but like super down to earth, really nice guy. And uh, this tune is called Where You'll Find Me.
started for me as uh, part of a project. I have a CD that's out called Beyond the Moon. It features the adventures and the stories of one of America's greatest lyricists, Johnny Mercer. And uh, he's so much a part of the great American songbook and those songs that we go to from movie musicals. And I was so inspired by doing all this research and doing his tunes that I decided to write my own song that if I were to be writing a song for a movie, and it's that romantic theme, where you can see like out in the park where they have the big trees and the lights are strung up and there's a dance going on. And instead of just, you know, falling in love at first glance, you took my hand and led me gently through our first dance. Your cheek brushed soft on mine Familiar and yet so new. I knew that this was just the first of more with you. This is Beyond the Moon. my 
And Kevin Urzura on the trombone, hey, and uh, Louis Valenzuela on the guitar. Hey. Yeah, yeah, you did okay for a kid. Tyler Richards on the piano. Yeah.
And of course, the wonderful Kristen Korb. What a wonderful composition, wasn't it? Just beautiful. So this next tune, this arrangement actually was a wedding gift. Um, I live just outside of Copenhagen, Denmark now. Uh, back in my graduate school days, um, I was at another university down in San Diego. Uh, but I knew the legend of Bill Yeager. And so our friendship goes back many, 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 many years. Although I never actually officially studied under him. Uh, I got to know guys in the band uh, throughout the years and we've run into each other and it's just been wonderful to continue that. The life in jazz is also that life in those friendships that come because of the music and stay because people are just really cool people. Uh, and Kim Richmond, uh, I was playing in his band, he's a wonderful saxophonist and writer, he was in the Stan Kenton band for a while and wrote for him. And when I was living in California, uh, I was minding my own business and I was playing on the jazz cruise. And there was a sound guy that came up on bended knee with a little tiny microphone and said, may I clip this on your bass? And I was like, that is the worst pickup line I have ever heard. <laughs> you may do so, but watch your step. And now we're married. <laughs> so, um, he, thank you. <laughs> and that is why I live in Denmark, because you can't resist a Viking, I found out. Uh, so I was playing in Kim's band and he was sad to see me leave Los Angeles, but he was very happy to give this gift of uh, this arrangement, which would have cost me an arm and a leg, um, but now I have it as a thing to hold on to and cherish forever. This is, will you still be mine?
Sukup on the flugelhorn. Actually, we're going to do one now that features the bottom of the band, and that being Skylar McKinnon on the bass trombone. And he's fortunate enough to get to be teamed up with Kristen Korb on the bass. So we have bass plus bass. It's an old Ray Brown tune. Uh, line with a groove. Uh, Bobo, they would like a little more of me uh, on the bass <laughs> in their monitor. I'm sorry. <laughs> They'd like a little more of me. Isn't that what a girl always wants to hear? 
They want more of me, more of me. Why not take more of me? Is that better? Good. Okay. Isn't nice having the low end represented? <laughs> All about that bass. No trouble. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I heard you. 
because it's all about the bass. Anyway, um, Gordon Goodwin, one of the great big band writers, also had a large part of his career writing music for cartoons. And uh, the things that he writes and arranges tend to have this very big animated quality to it. And I think this arrangement fits that uh, just as well. I asked him to write this arrangement for me of this song because I thought he could do something really cool with it. And um, featuring you know, the voice and the bass and what I do together. And so there's parts of the song where I'm, with one, I'm singing with one section of the band and then I'm playing with the other and I'm all over the map. So um, yeah, this is uh, really fun and thank you guys so much for all your hard work and awesome, awesome playing. This is just so much fun. So, yes, Santa State, big band. This is Gordon Goodwin's arrangement of The Night Has a Thousand Eyes. Ba 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 
Play one more for you. Yeah, this is entitled SST, and uh, not only features Kristen, but I'm putting the bass down. <laughs> okay, Chaz Cabrera on the alto sax, Matt Hall on the trombone, Louis Valenzuela on the guitar, Carl Sukup on the trumpet, and I think Kevin Jones. And uh, we don't know what they're going to do. Kristen and Kevin are going to do something. We don't know, so it'll be a surprise ending, okay? Surprise.
about this man. Take a, take a bow, guys. Kristen Korb. Boy, isn't she great? Yeah. You've just been a fantastic, wonderful audience. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. Thank you so much. Let's hear it for the musical magic of maestro, Bill Yeager. and bassist extraordinaire, Kirsten Korr. Yeah. And are you ready to give it up for the jazz electricity of the San Diego State University Jazz Ensemble? She just asked me, do you want to, do you want to, one more? Yeah. Feature Kristen on another hay burner. Uh, this is a, a chart that I brought along just in case called Blues for Uncommon Kids by Don Menza. And uh, let's see, it features People you haven't heard yet, yeah. Nicholas Hu on the alto sax. Jared yeah. Cruz on the uh, tenor sax. Uh, well, we have seen Louis Valenzuela, haven't we? He's a handsome young man. Yeah. And uh, Griffith Haldrell on the tenor sax. And Kristen, of course. This is, this is a piece that uh, is structurally much more like a classical piece because it's in different movements. Each movement has a different tempo and a different style, and I hope you like it. And it's a blues. I like blues. Yeah. Okay, it starts off nice and slow.
Thank you very much. 